Stella is back at the vet again, 18 months old, and she's had a lot of problems. This time, owner Beverly Guinness is picking her up from a surgery on her knee. The puppy, a gift from Beverly's son. $1,500 for a, a French bulldog, but you make up that cost with vet bills afterwards because of where they've come from. Stella is imported from Eastern Europe. Among thousands of dogs brought in to be sold, often online, it's a lucrative trade worth millions. But veterinary experts warn many come from puppy mills and say that can bring an array of health conditions. As soon as she arrived, I knew that things were not right. And then you spend the next three grand on vet bills. Um, she had Giardia, uh, possible um, other parasites, virus. Um, struggle to keep anything down. Um, and this is all within 48 hours. This is within up. 48 hours, yeah. But being such a small puppy, it's difficult to get fluids into them. You can die. The seller, Anastasia Kibzun, says Beverly denied any responsibility. Beverly says buyers need to be scrupulous. I would never ever buy a puppy unless it was from a certified registered breeder. So where to go to find a registered breeder? Well, many check out the website of the Canadian Kennel Club, a resource for puppy buyers. And look whose name is here. It's the woman who sold Stella to the Guinness family. All right. She's not the only name others find suspicious. I have printed off the breeders are from the official breed clubs in Canada. Brenda Como Watson founded the French Bulldog Club of Central Canada and is a longtime member of the Canadian Kennel Club. That's the puppy list. She's stunned by what she sees as infiltration of the CKC breeder lists by sellers who may import puppies or are not known to her to follow the club's rules on breeding. We're finding that a lot of the breeders, probably close to 76% of the breeders, uh, are commercial breeders breeding against the standard for the breed. You're saying that three quarters of those French Bulldog breeders aren't what you would consider a legitimate breeder? Exactly. Exactly. What does that say? It tells me that uh, people pay for the privilege of being included on that list, that CKC is not checking the puppy list before they include people on it. Hello? Oh, yes, I, I um, got you. We called the number on Anastasia's business card, and we're told at least some of their dogs are imported. Well, we don't breed uh, Frenchies. We breed American Akitas and uh, Samoyeds. Oh, okay, okay. We do import them from uh, Poland. From Poland, okay. I know, I know, I know, I know. You wouldn't know it now, but this little guy was another very sick import from Anastasia. On death's door, just hours after his new owner picked him up, immediately costing thousands in vet bills. And then he stayed at the vets for that two to three week period before we went to get him. Titan's owner arranged to have him taken in by Maureen Woods, who runs a Chihuahua rescue organization. He actually was down to 0.9 of a pound at one point because we couldn't get him to eat or drink. Just every night we went to bed thinking maybe he won't make it. We'll do our best. We spoke to Titan's original owner, distraught about her decision to buy Titan from Anastasia. She relied on the Kennel Club's list and believes it should validate her purchase. Maureen thinks if the country's preeminent dog organization cannot vet its puppy list, then the list shouldn't exist. The public perceives them to be a registering, monitoring board. If you have a CKC registration, if you're a qualified breeder, to me, that puts you in a higher esteem than someone who's not. Higher standard. Good morning. Hi, Richard. How are you? Richard Paquette is a breeder himself and a CKC board member. And the general public will have a degree of, uh, you know, confidence when dealing with a CKC member breeder because we do have a very strict code of practice and code of ethics that our member breeders must follow. It's come to our attention that a number of those on the puppy list are actually importing puppies. Does that surprise you? No, it doesn't surprise me, and it is a, a problem, and we have had several removed from our list. Paquette says the list, list is a resource, but ultimately puts onus on the buyer who can register complaints. 
The club's response to Titus's owner when recounting her horror story with their member breeder was even more definitive, writing a common misconception is that breeders are in some way licensed or registered by the CKC. This is not the case, and it's not against the code of practice for CKC members to act as a broker of dogs. What do you say to them, those people who are left with a sick dog after having gone to the puppy list? I find that very unfortunate and uh, our hearts go out to them because nothing worse than, than having a sick puppy. And uh, I know that for the most part, they can have a degree of assurance that the majority of the members on the Canadian Kennel Club puppy list are reputable, passionate about what they do. There he goes. <laughs> While Titan is now placed in a new home, the woman who sold him says she's no longer affiliated with the business that sold many of these puppies. But she does continue to sell puppies like Titan. And her name remains on the CKC list of registered puppy breeders. David Common, CBC News, Toronto.